Hi everyone, it's Linda here um, and I'm just stopping by today for a very very quick um, tip or a hack or whatever you like to call these type of videos. So this demonstration is showing you the hack that I use or, the, or what I do when I'm wanting to heat emboss lots of like little letters and that can be really really fiddly and I'm sure lots of you will have discovered Lots, maybe lots of different ways that you, you get over this um, but there's nothing worse than having lots and lots of little things that you want to get down on a, on a project okay and I'm all for saving time so this works for me and I thought I'd share my way with you okay so all I do is I find myself a little scrap of paper it needs to be sort of fairly deep because what we're going to be doing is placing our letters on here but we're, we're going to be heat embossing and we want to keep our fingers away from the source of the heat so we don't get burnt or they get over hot or, or whatever. So this is about two and a quarter inches deep. Um, you need it as wide as the word or the letters that you're using. So, you know, whatever your need is, don't cut it too um, narrow. And I've got a very thin strip of wax paper here. Now I'm using cut right wax paper and I use this a lot in my projects. I use it when I'm die cutting intricately. Um, I, think, I think it's brilliant. Okay, But I'm using it for this method today that I'm just about to show you. So all I do is this. I'm going to pop a little bit on the front here using my glue stick okay so just get this onto the front and then just coming around onto the back just going to stick these pieces down so just glue those into place okay like that Okay, so now what you want to do is take each of your letters and on the very base you're just going to add some of your glue stick like that. Okay, I do find that this does get a bit messy. It leaves, I think it's because this one's quite old actually, and so it kind of leaves some like bits behind. Okay, but all you do is you stick this right on the very edge like that, hold it down. into place. Okay, so you'll see I've got them all just right on the very edge, but they're quite firmly held in place with that glue from the glue stick. Okay, so now we're going to place this down. I'm just going to give this a good covering of Versamark. Okay, so I'm getting quite a bit on there. I'm bringing in my clear embossing powder giving each of the letters a good old coating. Okay. Got a big old blob of glue on the back here which I just want to pull away. Okay. So now that's ready for me to just heat up using my heat embossing tool. And whilst that heats, I'll just say what I'm going to do is start by heating from this end back towards this way so that by the time the heat source reaches this area here, it's going to be good and hot and you're not going to have to concentrate too much on heating this area, holding the gun there or the tool there for a very long time. So starting at the base. Okay, 
Okay, so hopefully you can see that's nicely heat embossed, but I actually want to go back in again and give it a second coating because I want these letters to be good and glossy. Okay, so I'm just going to pop over it again. I think the letters should hold without having to re-glue any on. So just give it another coating. I'm just going to come in again a second time. Okay, so we'll start with this one. So we're just going to gently pull, and that comes away quite nicely. Go down to the base and lift it away, that one. And And that one. So that one's pulled a bit of the card away, but hardly anything. Okay, and I'm quite happy with how my letters have turned out. Okay, but that just got four of them done in a relatively short space of time. I double dipped, um, but I'm really happy with how they came out. So I'm just going to get those stuck down onto my project. piece of paper and what I've done is I've mounted it onto a 6x6 card base and I'll be using this as a subject of a project for my blog coming up shortly. Uh, but I will just show you what I used. Okay, so for the letters I did use my Altenew Fine Alphabet die set. Okay, and the beautiful papers, or the beautiful paper, comes from this pack here, which is the Summer Garden paper pack. Um, six by six papers, um, 24 sheets, um, and there are two sheets of each design. Okay, so you've got some beautiful colours going on here. Okay, so I just thought I'd quickly share that with you. I do hope that you found this process quite interesting, and if, and if it's a technique you've not used before yourself, then maybe you might think about giving it a go sometime. It certainly saves me a lot of time anyway. So anyway, thank you for watching. I'll be back with another demonstration for you very shortly. So bye for now.